A dud! Oh wait a minute, I can actually do that on the soundboard. A dud! There we go. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. Good evening, I hope you're all feeling fine today. I'm feeling fine myself. And... I did start Metal Gear Solid 4... Well, noise. I did start Metal Gear Solid 4 about... I don't know, like... A month and a half ago, but then I, I did like two parts and I kind of like got sidetracked by a bunch of other games. It happens, but I want to continue this because I've been gradually going through the entire MGS series on streams over the past, I don't know, few years. I've done like the first three games and I want to go through this and eventually five and there's like a couple of spin offs as well. I forgot what they're called, but I will eventually stream all the Metal Gear Solid games. And I will not bother <laughs> streaming Death Stranding again. So let's do let's do some more Metal Gear Solid 4. Again, volume difference. Let me turn the capture card audio down because I think this game might be louder than I was expecting. So when I last played this game, we saw Liquid and we saw I don't know, we saw fucking Johnny shitting his pants. <laughs> and we saw we saw like a whole bunch of people like going insane in the membrane. Due to like some mind control device, don't mind that thunk in the background, just knock something over with my foot. Gonna move that aside so I don't do that again. Yeah, I had like something sitting next to me, it's nothing important, don't worry about it. So yeah, um, a lot of crazy shit happened the last time I played this also. Why isn't this showing up on my second monitor? Hang on. You guys can see it, but... Oh crap. Th there's a bit of an issue going on on my end. Right, so... We can't quite start yet until I fix this. Give me, give me one second. Yeah, so this is like an issue. Hang on. Let me turn the system off and turn it back on. Yeah, so there's a bit of a persistent issue with the PlayStation 3. I don't know if it's because of this model in particular or if this is something that happens across all the models. But for some reason, the image is not going through to my second monitor, which is where I'm watching the game from. You guys can see it on the capture card, but it's not like properly displaying on my second monitor. So that's not good. I'm gonna have to like try that again. I'm hoping that by restarting the system that will fix the issue. Okay, there we go. And then I can see it. Fantastic. Because I'm not watching this through my capture card feeds because one, there's a bit of a delay. I mean I mean it's not a huge delay, but it's just enough of a delay that would make things a little bit awkward. And also, I can't, like, see it full screen on the capture card feed. Right, so back to PlayStation 3, and so there we go. Right, let's take two, let's get started. That first attempt was... A dud! But now it's not. Fingers crossed. Uh-oh. Wait, did something happen when I load the game up? Hang on. Now it's not displaying again? What the fuck? Oh, come on! I... I... It, when I load the game up, it doesn't fucking work. I, I don't get that. Okay, so... I'm gonna go silent for a couple minutes while I try to fix this. I will be back as quickly as possible, so bear with me. I may need to, like, restart the system or some shit, like... Fully unplug the system kind of restarting, so give me a couple minutes, see if I can figure out what's going on with this. Okay, never mind, I fixed it. Turns out I had to unplug the HDMI from my capture card uh, device and then replug it, that fixed it. So now I can see it on my second monitor. Right, let's play it for real now, sorry about that. Gotta love it when some random technical issue props up, like crops up in the middle of a fucking stream, or like at the start of the stream, but at the start of something it's still technically in the middle of it, isn't it? Just not literally in the middle, it's just like somewhere within start and finish. Anyways. No more duds, let's go. Usually I try to, when, I, when the VODs go up on YouTube, I try to like cut out the down times, like when I have to like BRB or something, like when I put this screen up. But that was so short, I'm probably not even gonna bother. I mean, I'm a, I'm a very lazy person in general, so don't expect me to like cut that bit out. So we finished with act one. Again, everybody went a bit insane in the membrane, and we also found liquids. So, let's see where the story takes us next. Also, I haven't played this game, like I said, I've not played this game in like maybe nearly a couple months or something, like a month and a half or something. 
So inevitably I'm gonna have to like relearn the controls for the first 10 minutes. Which is always fun when I do that. Okay. I will also be constantly adjusting the volume to compensate for cutscenes and whatnot. Is this the Da Vinci codes? Is this all the numbers that comes after 3.14 in Pi? Oh yeah, check out that frame rate. All five of them. Sonya Blade. Much older. I remember the sun being so flat. <laughs> Oof. Sorry. I'll dig in right away, Sonny. And would you make some for Snake, too? Okay. Uh, uh, hey. None for me, Sonny. Ouch. You guys can hear this thing? Yeah. Whole day. Can I move the camera in this thing? No. Someone saved my life. Yeah. It could have been Meryl and her boys. Oh, that's weird. That actually shows you how long I've been playing for. Don't worry. They're doing fine. I died two times. Pretty sure I died more than that. Oh well. Liquid got away. Are you okay? My body. Just seized up all of a sudden. This is normal. It's not my joints or muscles. It looked like the PMC soldiers all went haywire in mass, too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM field. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped. Flashbacks view 28. Wow, they're really giving you all the stats, eh? Oh. I there. forgot about that, the X button thing. Naomi was at Liquid's side. Otacon, did you see her? No, but you're right. Naomi was there. I found traces of her DNA in that syringe you were holding. So it was Naomi. Why? Here. Let me show you something. You can sideways rolls in this game? Sideways roll, sorry? Or sideways rolls, if I can say that with the S's in the right, right after places. It all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was sent to my old address. I like how I'm taking more interest in the fucking statistics than what the fuck is happening on the, the smaller screen. Uh, um, here you go. Uh. Thanks, Sunny. They're delicious. Is she literally called Sunny because she serves Sunny Side Up? But Genius Kajumbo, once again. Um, yeah. So like I said, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 3 because for some reason this game has never had a remaster or re-release. It's not on PlayStation 4 for some reason and I don't think it's going to be on PS5 either. I was looking for this. You're not watching your nicotine intake. Uh, Sonny. 
Oh, hey there, Squirrelly J. Welcome to the stream. You really hurt her feelings. Yeah. Why don't you teach her how to cook eggs then? Oh, like I know how to cook. Hey, check this out. The data's been quarantined. No viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's. And I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. Snake, I'll make this quick. I'm in South America. Combat I've high been zero. And forced to do research. Not sure what that means, but okay. It's liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP, the sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. But their design is derived from that of the first generation. And the basic technology is still the same. First generation? I was the one who created the first generation. A nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Tie. Nine years ago at Shadow Moses, I I like how all these statistic device. breakdowns, like, in the bottom of the screen here. Flashback to Fox Die stuff. Inherited really by SOP. No, no, I, I find it funny how they give you like all the statistics and then there it's like 20% off. It, De Debrins or whatever his name was. Please, you must rescue me. Liquid's found a loophole he can use to get into the system. Preparations for his insurrection are nearly complete. No time to waste. Snake, hurry! Naomi sent her location data in a separate file. What the hell is that? It's a type of encrypted data. Sunny decoded it for us. Looks like a built like matrix Remember screen. Now? This is data from the Soliton radar you used at Shadow Moses. I'm guessing Naomi I have wants you. us to know the yep. message truly is from her. Sending the map data in Soliton radar format. Pretty clever. And Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. Mei Ling. The, the Tell me more about your favorite movies. D sound data. Wait, was it Mei Ling that told I you about movies? So I forgot who it was. Works. I think it was her. All I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. Yeah, I think it was <laughs> mailing actually. It's Campbell. Snake. The movie girl was paramedic. Recall, right, okay. Following the Shadow Moses shows how much I remember. Years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet, too. I suspect it was actually liquid. Oh, he yeah, Mei Ling was the one with the Chinese himself, proverbs, of course. To do research at his facility in South America. Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual proof. There's an ongoing skirmish between a new regime put into power by PMCs and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. The rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really pure au moment. One of the PMCs under Outer Heaven control that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True. But even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sonny trace the origin of Naomi's man. The address is fake. 
But Sunny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible, though. Colonel, where's Merrill? Well, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of liquid. I'm sure our sock is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Huh. You know, I'm surprised I only spent What's like two minutes inside a cardboard box lead. slash drum. I secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. Then what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, Snake, it'll be a solo sneaking mission. Right. Mm. Rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. The commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. 20 hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can. That's a nice change in volume, sudden jet engine noises. Right, okay then. Gotta hate the PlayStation 3's saving system. So fucking, like, archaic and, like, shitty. If that's the one I'm looking for. Anyways, let's, let's, I, I guess there's a bit more story before we land. So when they say axe, do they mean like a three axe structure act, or do they mean like just a several, like, set five to ten to fifteen axe kind of thing? I'm not sure what they mean by that exactly. I'm guessing they mean chapters. So it'll be like somewhere in the ballpark of like five to fifteen. Colonel, how deeply are they involved in all of this? The Patriots, you mean? The data we got from Arsenal Gear was a load of crap. Twelve founders who have all been dead for a hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist today. If the purpose of this battlefield control system is to control IDs, it fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing control of the world's ID systems and then using them to manipulate the economy and information flow. For the Patriots, that's the ultimate prize. You might say the Patriots are the embodiment of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago, it's all come to pass. The Patriots are trying to protect their power. Their own Solidus is an interesting character from MGS2. Now, with the media and global opinion under complete control, not even the UN can stand up to them. Then Liquid's insurrection is against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has taken up Big Boss's cause. An age of persistent universal warfare. A world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the Outer Heaven Big Boss envisioned is already a living reality. You mean the PMCs and their war business? Right now. Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy wars for them. He must be dying to break free of their spell. Beneath the surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. And no matter who wins, the world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake, what we call peace is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. 
Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we may have no choice but to protract the system. Snake, here's what we know about the current battle. Rebel guerrilla units are advancing on the base of the government PMC troops. That base appears to be Liquid Safe House. According to Naomi's data, she's being held prisoner inside the compound. That's where she is. Assuming the data is correct. And one more thing. What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano-machine control system. Meaning? Meaning the low blood oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nano-machines, giving them a slight edge in battle. Be careful. Steer clear of altitude sickness. Got it. Holy shit. I remember you. One of the more memorable villains from Metal Gear Solid 2. If nothing weirder happens between now and the next couple of hours, I guess I'll make that the thumbnail. Just that weird ass, like, fake snake smile. Sure, he won't. This is the place of the bastard who kills your comrades. More guerrillas will be coming to storm the safe house. He must be among their numbers. I'm assuming that's the original voice actor, it sounds like it. Don't let down your guard. Admittedly, I don't remember the name of the voice actor that played Vamp in MGS2, but I think that's the same guy. Alright, then I'll take your word for that. God, when did I play Metal Gear Solid 2? Like, two years ago? I've been gradually getting through the series. Otacon. What the hell? That was... Vamp. I'm sure of it. I'll never forget that face. Those were PMC soldiers with him. Is he involved in Liquid's plan? We watched him die in Manhattan. Damn it, he won't leave us alone. Snake, could Vamp be immortal? Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy game. I swear, the next time he shows up... Not now, Otacon. Right. I know. Snake, 
According to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's being held is to the north, along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. Wait, is that how you spell no Hawaii? Kidding. With an apostrophe in there? That's weird. Training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei Ling kind of got put out to pasture. Hmm. Even so, making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for older men. Hmm. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Huh. No. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember, the conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That freak I just saw, with the tentacles, was it using the same octo-camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually, I kind of based it on some design Sunny snagged off the net. And the data came from? DARPA. Huh. So in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry. I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. Right, so first thing I need to do is save the game because it's been a while since I've saved the game. Crazy buys at Deborah's shop, everything's 20% off. I'm not sure if I still have my weapons from the previous... From the, like, the previous act or if I have to, like, start from, like, defaults or whatever. Right, there we go. So what do I have? Research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. Okay, well, I think I start with most of my stuff. I've got my pistol, at least the... This is the one with the... what you call it? This is the trank. There's my standard pistol. I've got my AK. Right, okay, I've got everything I need. Pretty much. Oh yeah, I even still have the fucking drum can from before. Awesome. So, I'm gonna need to take a moment to... Actually, know what I'm gonna do? I think I just remembered something. Let me go to... How do I go back to the title screen? You can do that from here, right? I want to go back to the title screen so I can, like, practice the controls real quick because I forgot how you played this game. Um, I don't remember how you go back to the title screen, though. If you can even do that from here. Anybody know where the go back to the title screen option is? Because I don't see it. Unless you have to go to save for that. Oh, there it is. Right, okay. Never mind. So, there's like a, a little option where you can like do target practice. I'm just going to use that real quick just to like get back to grips with the controls because I haven't played this in... God, I forgot when I last played this game. I think it was like a month and a half ago, but I need to like check. In fact, let me check right now. When did I last play this game? Let me check when my last stream of this was. One moment. My last stream of this was... June 30th, so that was... Two weeks ago, actually? That wasn't as lo That isn't as long as I thought. Wait a minute, no, that's... Never mind. I'm looking at the wrong thing. One second. Uh, Metal. Just searching metal, just so I can, like, filter it quickly. Right, June 5th. So... About a month and a half ago, yeah. That sounds about right. Okay, so virtual range, I think, was the thing. I 
I guess by loading your safe data, you get to use your existing loadout. Yeah, so I just want to use this real quick just for training, just so that I can remember how you do certain things. So that's crouching, hold that for prone, or you know what I mean, like for crawling. How do you see QC in this game again? Is it triangle? Oh yeah, I think you have to like take the weapon off the CQC. Or not. Oh wait a minute, CQC is R1 in this game. Yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, good that I learn all this now so that I don't fuck up when I'm like sneaking about. I know there's a button to like roll the drum about, but I forgot how you do it. Um. Oops. So yeah, loading up your save file lets you like try out your existing loadout that you've got in that save file, which is convenient. How do you tilt the drum over again? I know you can do it because I did it before, but I forgot how you do it. Oh, you just press X. I was pressing everything but X. And now I need to remember how you go in first person aiming mode. There's like a thing that lets you go in first person, but um... Ah, right, there we go. Right, okay, I think I've got everything under control now. Again, just need to like brush up on the controls real quick. That's a good way to do it. Because every time I come back to a game like this, it's like, oh god, what do I press, what do I press? Also, welcome to the stream, Green. You haven't missed much bar for like 20 minutes of exposition. So we're going to continue from... Where we loaded. 20 or 30 minutes of story, just basically some like mission briefing stuff on what we're doing now. Head for the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. Right, so I need to go that way. Alright. What's that dude doing? Is he looking at a magazine? I think that's what he's doing in there. He's just randomly looking at a magazine on the floor, I think. I should reiterate that even though I've been playing through, gradually been streaming through the Metal Gear Solid series, I am absolutely garbage when it comes to stealth games, so do expect me to get caught lots and lots of times, despite my best efforts. What's that? What animal was that? Was that an armadillo? Or was that a rat? I think that's a rat, actually. How do I slash things again? Do I have to, like, take this off and then press the CQC button? No? I honestly don't remember how you slash things in this game. Oh, wait a minute. Is it, like, a separate thing over here? No? You, you can slash things in this game, right? How do you do that again? If somebody wants to remind me, because I don't remember how you do that. Unless I have to, like, equip it. I think I have to, like, go into my backpack. I think that's how you do that. Oh, yeah, there is. Right, okay. That's why I couldn't do it, because it wasn't equipped. Stun knife.
Oh, God damn it. Oh shit. Shit just got real. Has this got a silencer on it? Um How do I know this has got a silencer attached to it? But there's a lot of things I need to remember how you do in this game. I think I have to go into my weapons screen to do that shit. Oh, it says it's a silenced pistol, so that's fine. You're up. Am I going the right way? Apparently I'm supposed to be going that way. Kind of. Oh, oh. No, you didn't. You saw nothing! Who's that? Ah, shit. You saw nothing. I told you I suck at these games. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Yeah, fuck the guys, I'm just gonna move on. Oops. Oh, goddammit. Alright. Yeah, already sucking at video games, so what else is new? Yeah, I think it might be better if I pretend to be a barrel for a little bit, so we're gonna do that instead. Oh, wait a minute, where's my... Excuse me? Oh, there we go. I have to stand up to use it. Or I have to, like, get into crouching position at the very least. Right, so how's everyone doing? Me, I'm doing alright. Not much to talk about. So there's been more and more rumours of a potential Nintendo Direct happening a few days after the release of Origami King. Um, I'll wait until... I mean, given how many rumours we've had of, like, Directs over the last... When was the last proper Direct? Like, September of last year? I mean, we had that Direct Mini in March, but that wasn't, like, a general Direct. It was, like, a really small thing. Uh, I'll believe it when I see it. Like, if Nintendo announces, like, a Direct the day before, then excellent. But I'm not going to get all excited for it because I'm not sure what Nintendo's plans are because they've been... Especially like during these times of pandemic, they've been like really like quiet. But apparently they're going to be doing a big 35th anniversary thing for Mario, so... Let's hope that's true. Like those Mario remasters, uh, at least the rumours of them sound really good.
This is HQ. All clear. Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. Yeah, good thing nobody can see this battle right down here. Also, I like how my name is no longer Snake, it's just Old Snake now. Huh? <laughs> it... I didn't think somebody could see me from that far. Uh oh. I thought he was going to go over there. Oh, don't tell me we're going to go back into another fucking caution again. No, there's nothing here! Go away! Bitch, go away! You dick! Are you kidding me with that shit? Oh, I guess that's a side roll. How did I do that? I have no idea how I just did that right now. Oh yeah, I forgot. In this game, you can't do the quick reload cheesing. Ah, oh, Jesus. Where are you? I don't, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'm just gonna start again. Fuck it. Wasn't worth wasting my rations on that. Again, I am absolutely garbage when it comes to, like, avoiding shit, even though that's what I try to do. I'm not really good at stealth. Where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. I still don't know what that guy's doing in there, but I think he's looking at a magazine. Really hard to tell what he's doing, like hunched over, but there's like love hearts coming out, so yeah, I guess he's looking at a magazine of some description. Just waiting for that dude to come round the corner so I can just trank him in the head. Oh, you wrong button! Ah! Okay, I want to make something 100% perfectly clear. I did not press the R1 button to fire. I don't know how the fuck I just shot that. In fact, you know what? Can I just load my save file? N n yeah, let's... You know what? It's faster if I just do this. I did not press the R1 button. I don't know how the fuck. Like, R1 is to fire, right? And I don't know what the fuck happened there, but I, I just shot my pistol for some random reason. Maybe I did press it and I'm just telling myself otherwise, I don't know, but it didn't feel like I pressed the button, it felt like I held the R1 to aim and was trying to press triangle to like go into first person first and then line my shot. But I'm not accepting that, I'm just going to load the save file again. Oh boy, only like a couple minutes into this tonight and I'm already DSPing up something fierce. Excellent. Head for the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. Yeah. I definitely, at least in my reckoning, maybe I did do it and I just subconsciously didn't realize, but I feel like I definitely didn't press the R1 button to fire the gun when I was like trying to line my shot. I'm not sure what happens. But I'll be ready this time. Just got to wait for him to come around the corner again. As I hold this gun in first person, my stress level is gradually going up. I forgot about the stress system in this game. Get up. Oh, right. That, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing.
Not sure if I can get more stuff from him. Oh yeah, you can get multiple things from sleeping guys. Got a grenade. Okay, just keep him now then. A gerbil? Okay, that's not a rat. I think that's a gerbil. Weird. How do you reload in this game again? Oh, wrong button. Oh, okay, it's the... What button is that circle? Sorry, I'm not as familiar with the PlayStation symbol layout as most people are. Who goes there? Nobody goes there. It was just some dude shooting, don't mind me. Oh, I... No, no one's here. That's what I was trying to tell you. No one's here. Now go the fuck back in that shelter. Dumbass. Stand up. Guess I'll just have gradually fucking ground hump my way across this. I'll go a little bit faster than that, but can't go too fast otherwise they'll get suspicious. Yeah, stop reminding me of that 20%, please. In fact, I'm going to save here. Just so I don't have to keep seeing that. Don't need to buy any weapons right now. So yeah, there's somebody kind of close by. I, I, know, I know what the bumps in the circle represent. It's like the direction of like enemies that could be close by. That are close by. Yeah. March. Not press the R1 button with the fuck. Is my controller broken? I definitely didn't press the R1 button that time, I can tell you that 100%. I think I saw <gasps> what was that noise? Whose footprints are these? Uh, <laughs> I do it! Almost there. This should be no problem if I like played this game like a week after I played like part two. But you, you know me, sometimes I, I slack on like playing games. It's not going for that guy. Okay, I think we're in, in the clear now. Stand up. Steam dip. Right, so I'll save here just so... I would assume if I die and respawn, I respawn here, I guess. I'm not going to use the saving too often, but if I feel like I'm, like, wasting time, then I'm going to, like, try relying on saves. Just to speed up the process. So at least I got through that part. Let's move on. I'm not, I'm not even going to attempt to go inside those camps. There's probably some cool weapons and shit in there, but not worth it. I can get by just fine with what I've got. If I get anything cool in this game, it'll be from Deb Debon Shop or whatever that dude's name is. 
the I O new guy. On the rounds. So something is definitely screwy with my controller right now. I have no idea why that's triggering, I swear to god. It's just randomly pressing R1 when I try to go into aiming modes. Or R, R yeah, R1. Like the button that fires the gun, it's just randomly pressing that and I have no idea why. I think something might be wrong with my controller, but I honestly couldn't tell you. Gonna have to look into that later. A little bit too late to look into that now since I'm streaming. Just gonna have to deal with it. Oh yeah, I should probably use my... What is it? The solid eye, so I can see where the enemies are. How do I go into first person with this shit again? Um, binoculars. Yeah, there we go. I can look around with this. Okay, so there's a an enemy up there. I mean, as long as I just keep going this way, this is where I'm going, right? Oh wait a minute, I'm going this way. Shit, I'm gonna have to go in that direction. I'm not sure what what's down there, but I'm not supposed to go that way, so I'll have to get around this enemy somehow. I don't think the R1 button is sensitive. I, th I th like I have no idea what's going on, but when I hold the L1 button as I prep the aim and laid my shot, it just randomly presses R1 for no fucking reason. And that's happened a few times now, so I'm kinda worried that's gonna be an ongoing thing tonight. I never had this issue the last time I played this game, so I honestly don't know what's going on. Maybe there's something wrong with my controller, maybe it's got dust in the buttons or something. But I'll have to look into that next time I play this. I don't have a spare DualShock 3 controller, this is my only one. How do you mount? Alright, oh, you have to hold against it and then press triangle. Can't quite see where he is. Oh, there he is. Did I get him? Alright, I got him. I'm try I'm trying to like claim that. Guess it's too high to claim. Snake, please. Again, I love the mechanic where you, if you have, like, weapons that you don't need, you can just sell them to Debrin automatically and get extra, like, weapon points so you can buy other stuff later. That's a cool idea. Okay, well, he's got nothing left. Can I really not just claim that? I mean, I know I'm old, but Jesus... Yeah, it has to be, like, waist hide for me to climb it, otherwise I cannot reach it. Who goes there? No one goes there. No one goes here either. Oh, jeez. 
Should have used my eye thing going up this hill. Is that the rebels fighting? Yeah, I think the rebels are fighting them right now. Or whatever they're called, like the other factions, like fighting those guys. That could provide me an advantage. No, 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 we don't like that. Uh. Nice. I'm surprised that dude didn't even fucking notice that the other guy was here, like, sleeping on the job. Okay, so how do I get up there then? Guess I have to go this way. I hope that other dude doesn't wake up anytime soon. Whoa. Okay. Wasn't expecting a fucking forward roll onto that. What is that? Weird. No, no idea what that is. Oh god, that guy's waking up. I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna move on. I think I see him. Right, well, so far, so good. Again, not going to attempt to go in that building. There's no real reason for me to. Just get by the enemies and reach my objective. That's all that matters right now. I'm sure I'm missing out on cool rewards, but I'm not really too bothered. Snake, there's someone I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A psychological counselor. Psychological counselor? A lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle, end up panicking. How do you bring up the core deck again in this in game? you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. She? Rosemary. You have to like pause the game to use core deck in this one. Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon but moved to combat support during the Big Shell incident. Uh, yeah. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP, the Combat Stress Platoon. Yeah, I hear psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity, all without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Since the passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147.79. Her advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. 
even a veteran soldier like you. I know. Mind, body, technique. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Merrill was talking about. Is Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack, from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. We lost all trace of him. Jack's gone. I used to work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? I was consoling her over her loss, and one thing just led to another. She's young enough to be your daughter. Yeah, lucky me, huh? Jesus. Now I see why Meryl was so disgusted. Meryl said something about me. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. I see. Colonel, you knew she was our informant in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I used my connections in the army to get Meryl the job. You wanted your daughter someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look, everybody involved in the incident at Shadow Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Meryl and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Meryl wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. Huh. Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. In any case, call Rosemary if you ever need advice. So I was trying to remember who Rose and Jack were, and then it came back to me. It's like the fucking Raiden thing with like, Why are your walls white, Jack? Why won't you talk to me anymore? Like shit like that. Like I fucking hated that part of MGS too. Oh shit. Is that the rebel army actually? I think that may be a good thing. Yeah, th those are rebel rebels. Do I have a camo that works better for those guys? Like... I forgot exactly what it was, but there was like cutscenes in the game where like Rose would like go on this fucking emotional thing with like uh, Raiden. And it would get very awkward and weird and very, very unlike Metal Gear Solid. It was like a fucking soap opera, almost. I'll just let them take point, I guess. Am I going in this direction? Yes, I am. Who? Oh. Hey. oh you again. And now they're, they're, they're fine with me. As long as I don't do anything dumb, I guess. Okay then, let me fix, Just my imagination. I, need, I need to reload, wait do I have any more? Hang on. Okay there we go, sorry the reload button wasn't working for a second there, I guess I was in the wrong position to do it. <sighs> okay so, codec. I guess I'll call her now, actually. Um, Rosemary. Hello, Snake. What do you have for me, Rose? Your psych is looking good right now. Nothing to worry about, so far as I can see. <laughs> good. Snake, the gauge below your life gauge is your psych gauge. Yeah, you told me about that. Then you'll hear it again. The psych gauge affects the rate at which your life gauge recovers. In other words, how fast your wounds heal. It also greatly influences how well you perform various actions. When your psych gauge is full, your life recovers quickly and you shouldn't have any problems doing what you need to do. Remember, your body isn't the only thing driving your performance. Your mind is every bit as important. Hey, I don't let my mental state affect my combat efficiency. You may think that, Snake, but the truth is, you're, you're not as young as you used to be. <laughs> could have fooled me. It's your psych that's keeping you alive inside. So you better take it seriously. Keep a close eye on your psych gauge. All right, all right. Enemy 
enemy contact. Yeah, I'll just let them handle it. Uh oh. Gotcha! You dick. Hey. Uh. Well, I didn't kill them, but I incapacitated them at least, so that works. Guess I can pick up their weapons while they're snoozing on the job. Just sell all that to Debrin, or whatever his name is. I always get his name wrong. 45 caliber submachine gun. Alright. Can maybe try that out later. Those poor bastards. They didn't really fucking last that long, did they? Oi, check. Yep, nope. Nope, nobody's here. What? What? Get up. Where's the enemy? Yeah, a little bit too late for that now. Oh, good. Oh, god damn it. No, no reinforcements, please. How do you throw again? L1 and then throw with R1. Okay, how am I doing that? How am I fucking side dodging? What button is that? Because I don't whatever button that is, I don't think I'm pressing that either. Something there. Ah, Jesus. Just don't mind me, just an inconspicuous box. Lying in the middle of fucking goddamn nowhere. I'm surprised nobody's looking at the box. Uh oh. A cardboard box? A cardboard box? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? Ah, oh, Jesus. That was a terrible decision. You hit? No, he's dead. That's right, just line yourself up. Hey! But, uh, did somebody shoot at me, or did I do that myself? Yeah, I, I think my controller is busted. Like, I, 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 mean, I think I just misfired again, and I didn't even press the R1 button. Oh, Jesus. What is going on with my controller? Okay. Is there like a shortcut to fire the gun other than R1? Because whatever the fuck is happening, my controller's not working right. And I have no fucking idea what's going on. It's like I'm randomly firing when I'm not telling the, the fucking gun to fire. 
Is this that psych thing, or is this actually my controller doing this? I want I wonder if it's actually the psych mechanic that makes me, like, pull the trigger without meaning to. But then again, it happened when I had 0% stress, so I don't know why it's doing it, like, it was doing it then. Oh. Oh, you can fuck off with that shit. Yeah, give me one second. I'm just gonna quickly... Yeah, give me one second. I'm just gonna quickly ask somebody about something regarding this controller, because I need, I need to know. Right, okay, so I just um, sent a message to my friend to ask him what the issue is. He's not got back to me yet. I'll keep you updated on that. Because I, I genuinely, genuinely don't know if it's like the game that's doing that because I've not had this issue. I'm dead. Or I will be dead, yeah. I didn't have this issue the last time I played this game, so I think there's something wrong with my controller now. It's like sometimes I'm randomly firing, sometimes I'm randomly reloading or pulling the gun away or going out of first person mode. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, that was definitely not me. I don't think that's a mechanic in the game, I think there's something genuinely long, wrong with the controller. Is there a way to, like, resync this fucking thing? Hang on. Uh, let's see. PlayStation 3 resync controller. How do you do this shit? I don't know if resyncing is the term I'm looking for, but I'm, like, trying to, like, essentially reset it and see if that fixes whatever the issue is. There might be, like, some... I don't know what you call it. There might be, like, some issue. I need the paper clip, apparently. Hang on. Connect the controller with your PlayStation 3 system powered down, so I have to like turn the system off. Oh wait a minute, hang on, I'm just reading through something real quick. I'll just throw this up in the meantime while I try to figure out how to fix this. Right, so turn on the console with the controller, hold down the power button on the controller, wait until the console powers up. In the intro screen appears, so I may have to like turn the system off and on to like fix this. If the above steps do not work, there's another step to take. According to PlayStation's troubleshooting guide, straighten out the length of a paper clip. I don't have paper clips, but I've got like a toothpick. Maybe that'll work. Let me get a toothpick out of my tubs of my tub of toothpicks. Okay, so use a paper clip. Um Flip the controller so that you're looking at the back of it. There's a small black hole in which you can insert the paper clip uh, to reset the controller settings. Once you do that, repeat the steps above. Right, okay, then um, there it is. Right, so I guess I have to hold this for like 10 seconds. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. I have no idea what's going on. Again, I had no issues with my controller the last time. But it's just like fucking got a mind of its own right now and it's pissing me off. Right, so... I think that's 10 seconds, more or less, 10-15 seconds. Right, let's try turning the control on now. Right, let's see if that's any better. I'm going to use this area to, like, quickly test this. I didn't press the reload button there, so... Yeah, something is up. 
it's like when I move the right analog stick, it's like randomly pressing the four face buttons. I can't explain it, but I think it's when I move the right analog stick that it's doing it. Or is it the left analog stick? Hang on. Yeah, I think it's the right analog stick. What the fuck? Why? How is the right analog stick hitting the four face buttons? That makes no sense. I think I think my controller's busted, guys. I've I've never had this problem before. Oh come on now. now now's not the time for this. Is that a known issue? Hang on, I'm gonna look this up. PlayStation 3 or sorry, Dual Shock 3 right analog stick pressing buttons. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm I'm gonna have to I've still got the play standby thing up just to make sure this is working, but obviously something's up with my controller. So I'm going to have to see if there's like a... I don't know if this is like a known issue for these kind of controllers, or if it's just my controller genuinely broke. Because again, I when I last streamed this game, this did not happen at all. So something must have happened between in and now. Maybe dust got in, in, the, in the motherboard or something. Not the motherboard. Like the the chip board that like operates the thing. I, I don't know. I may have to give my controller a deep clean, but I don't have the tools for that right now. Uh, hang on. Let me try. I'm trying to see if I can find the information I'm looking for. So you'll just have to bear with me a moment. Bear with me a couple minutes. I may have to come back to this game if this is going to be an ongoing issue. Because it kind of makes it unplayable. When my gun just fucking fires on its own. Or when I'm in the middle of a gunfight and I'm reloading when I mean to, like, fire. Okay, so apparently this is an issue because there's a YouTube video called How to Fix Analogs in Random Button Presses. So yeah, I think this might be a known issue. DualShock 3 right analog stick problem. Right, okay, let me check this real quick. I'm checking, like, a, w a website that might have, the like, information on this. My right, do my DualShock 3 right analog stick rotates in game camera by itself. Yesterday I was playing GTA 5, suddenly the camera starts moving around. Right, well, that's not the problem exactly. Like, it, do it doesn't move the camera by itself. The problem is when I move the analog stick, it's, like, pressing either circle, square, or triangle, or R1. Like, that's the issue I'm getting. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. I know this is, like, not what you want to watch, but... I, w I wish I was joking as well. Like, I wish this was, like, just some, like, elaborate fucking joke that I'm doing, but I I'm being serious, like... I don't know what's going on with my controller, and it's pampering my ability to play the game right now. So I might have to come back to this at some point. Like, maybe I have to, like, get a new controller. I think this one might be, like, broken. Which is weird, because I've literally not used my PlayStation 3 since the last time I streamed this game. Either something's funky with the, the chipboard underneath, like maybe dust got into it or something. I'm going to have to do some experimenting off the stream, but um, the way things are going right now, this is definitely not playable. At least this is not... I mean, it's doable, but it's giving me like an extra degree of challenge that is not intended, and I don't like it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if there's... Like, there's a thrift store that I know nearby. I'm going to see if they have any spare DualShock 3 controllers, because I could just buy a new one. Let's see, DualShock... Do they have any DualShock 3s in stock? Just give me a minute to look for... Wait a minute. PlayStation 3 controller, and I'm just trying to look for the specific controller in mind. Holy shit, a DualShock 3 costs £30, are you kidding me? It's a little bit pricey. I mean, I mean, it's an old controller, yes, but thirty pounds. This, it's like almost fifty bucks. Yeah, they've got one in stock. Um, I'll consider that. What I'm gonna do is, 
I know this is a weird place to end this. It wasn't that long ago from saving the game, so I haven't lost that much progress. But I think the way things are going right now, this is simply not playable. So if you guys are okay with it, I'm going to have to put a pin in this one and come back to Metal Gear Solid four, uh, 3, 4, sorry, 4. Sorry, I'm a bit flustered right now because... Like, let me let me show you once again what's going on. I'm, I'm holding the controller by the left nub, like the little handle that sticks out at the bottom. I'm not pressing any other buttons. Now I'm going to ro rotate the analog stick, the right one. Come on, do it. Is it the right analog stick or the left analog stick? No, I think it's the right analog stick that's doing it. Unless I have to like go into aiming mode and then do it. Yeah, when I go into aiming mode, it's like pressing certain buttons while I'm moving the analog stick. I don't know what's going on. Like, you hear that beeping noise? I think that's like me pressing the X button or something. No. I think it's like pressing square because the square button does that. How is that even... Po like, how, how does moving the analog stick trigger face buttons and the R1 button? I don't get that. It must be something with the board underneath. I'm gonna have to like maybe. What screws does this thing use? It uses Phillips, right? Okay, well, I guess maybe like like after the stream or tomorrow or something, I'm gonna have to like open this up and give it a clean and see if I can figure out what's going on. Maybe there is dust inside there or something, but it's like preventing me from like playing this properly, especially when I'm like trying to sneak around and like trank people and I just like accidentally fire when I'm trying to lay my shot. That's not. It's not preferable to do that. So we'll come back to this. Um, do I want to save here or did I save frequent recently? Because I'll tell you what, we can you save. Because I'm not sure if I am better off saving at this point or not, but we'll make a, a fresh save and I'll figure out which one I should go back to. I'll probably go for the previous save. But yeah, sorry about this, guys. I think I'm going to have to stop here for now until I figure out what's going on with my controller, so we'll have to put a pin in this one. That's, that's really fucking frustrating. I was getting into that there as well, and then that shit starts happening. So yeah, unfortunately this is my only DualShock 3. I can't like try another one because I don't have another one. So I'll do some more MGS4 this week as a result of that. Like I'll get, I'll do another session probably at the weekend, like in the next couple of days. So yeah, we'll do that maybe like on Saturday or Sunday when I feel like doing that again. We'll do like a three hour session to make up for this.